Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Today, I'm going to be continuing my series on taking a look at CBL Mariner. In the previous part, what we did is we built and installed it. I would recommend you that you watch that video first before this one, unless you just want to watch this one first, or you, if you already watched the last one, it, it doesn't matter. You can watch it in whatever order that you want, but there's going to be a link in the description and in the top right corner for you to click on if you want to. Today, I'm going to be continuing my exploration of CBL Mariner. First, we're going to be running uname space dash a, and it says that this is Linux and it's CBL Mariner VM, that's the machine name. And then we have the kernel version number and then the CBL Mariner part right there. And then the date? Yeah, wait, oh, the date it was built, not installed. I got confused there for a minute. And then x86, 64, I don't know why there's three of them there. GNU Linux, okay. So that's information about it. I'm going to install some, install the Red Hat LSB package. Actually, yeah, I can just do that now. DNF search. Uh, LSB. Because I don't remember what it's actually called. Hold on, wait. Okay, so... I'm really tired, so I have to like lean to the screen. Oh, and I just remembered to mention that the display resolution is not 1080p. I tried to change it. It's still this resolution, so sorry about that. I'll try to figure out a way to change it later, maybe. I don't know. So I'm going to import Microsoft signing key in this other one here. Hold on. I'm going to move the microphone closer so I can talk while I'm closer to the display. Yes. Okay. Um, yes. Why is there so, why are there so many of them? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so it did find it. So DNF show. DNF info. Ah, oh, maybe. Maybe that's it. DNF info. Wait, uh, I can't remember what it was. Okay, DNF info, LSB dash release. Hmm, okay, I think this is it. So we need to go sudo DNF install. Okay, and I thought I just did this. Maybe I have to do it twice. Okay. Well, at least it has network connectivity. So yes, I want to install this. It'd be nice if I could just hit enter like in uh, apt. Oh, okay. So LSP underscore release should be in here now. Ah, yes, it is in here now. So as you can see, it shows LSP version not available. Distributor ID is Mariner. Description is CBL Mariner 1.0.2021.06.28. Same for the release for that number. Codename is Mariner. So it doesn't mention Microsoft, but it does show that I need to add that Microsoft Linux is a cursed concept, but it exists. So next what we're going to do, I don't know if this is installed or not is we're going to run midnight commander. Oh, it's not installed. Let me just install that real quick. Yes, this should allow us to, ah, here we go. So, oh, it doesn't, there's no mouse. Oh, okay. Well, what directory are we in? Oh, that's the home folder. Um, this should help us figure out what's on here. Let's go down to user. Bin. So this is what's in this computer, or on this um, operating system. Um, I'm just gonna cut around to if I notice anything interesting.
So I didn't find anything. I'm just gonna exit. Wait, I pushed oh, F10. Oh, there we go. I I got out of it. I'm gonna check if um there's X. Oh well, if there's X11 or X org, I don't think that's in the repos. No, it's not. So. So there, let me see. I looked on, uh, yeah, no, there's no Wayland or anything graphical in the repositories. I looked online at Microsoft's package lists and I couldn't find any graphical stuff in there. So I figured that there would be nothing in there. So uh, my initial plan ended up not working out so well. And it ended up being way more complicated than I intended. What I was going to do was pull in the Fedora repositories and use the RPMs in there to try to install X11. But I had forgotten that there is a core UI repository available on, for um, CBL Mariner. So I can just pull stuff from that. So on my other monitor over here, I have the Docker file. What I remembered is that Microsoft, because CBL Mariner is used as part of WSLG, a modified version is used for that. So I decided, oh, I'll just look at stuff in there. And I found a Docker file that pulls in Mariner repos UI. So I'm going to do sudo dnf install Mariner repos. UI. I don't know if this will work. I hope it will. If it doesn't work, we'll have to manually add the core UI repository. Okay, and now it's actually showing the, the repository, or the, the package. So now we type yes, and now it has installed the package. So we're just going to do sudo dnf search xorg. This should Oh, uh, we need to import the packages, I import the things. Oh, in yeah, there we go. It already shows xorg. So we're oh, so we're gonna do sudo dnf install. I'm just gonna do x xorg x11 apps because that's we'll want that anyway. So, so I'll just install that, and it should pull in all the dependencies. Okay, I don't see XORG server, but we'll grab that in a moment. So this is grabbing all the X11 packages. Yes. And now that's done. I doubt XORG is installed itself. Yeah, no, it's not. So we need to go back to search for XORG and then sudo dnf install xorg x11 server let's do that oh, okay so we have up here xorg 11 xorg install xorg x11 server and xorg with a capital x so that should pull in oh it's pulling in a lot of stuff so it's pulling in lib wayland client and stuff like that so this should work let's just do it and see if it works so, nope, oops, nope, that doesn't work. So I'm going to have to figure out how to run X. Wait, what if sudo dnf search start X? Nope. Okay, so I'm going to figure out how to start X11. Wait. No, I'm going to actually sudo dnf search Weston, since we have the UI repo in there. Nope, it's not in there. That was a Wayland. That's Wayland's reference compositor. So I'm going to take a, mo take a break and um, search for how to start x11 from the terminal. I know it's start x in some cases, but I don't know in this case. So I'm just going to pause this and then come right back.
So I think what we need to do is actually do X org with a capital X dash configure. Oh, sudo. Well, it's good news. It exists. I'm not sure what this is, but we need to do... I'm going to do x config slash root slash xorg dot conf dot new. And, oh, is it running now? It's, there's nothing on screen. Hmm. Oh, hmm. I'm not sure. I'll be right back. Okay, so apparently Fedora sometimes recommends using colon one instead of colon zero for the display. So I'm just gonna restart it and then try it again. Sometimes colon, because sometimes colon zero doesn't work. So you need colon one. Okay, there we go. So now we need sudo x colon one and then configure. So it failed to set IOPL for the input and output. What if I do a search for XF86? I'm gonna install this package. I don't know what'll happen, but hopefully it works because it mentions VM. So I don't know if that's virtual memory. I think that's virtual memory. Lib X XF 86 VM. Oh, it's already installed. What if I just do X? I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, no. Okay, so it stopped it. X colon one. What if this works? Mm, no, maybe not. All right, I'm going to look for other stuff. I'm going to try installing VMware tools. So let's see. So I think the problem is just it can't find the VMware drivers. So what I'm going to do is manually install them. I've already put the disk in there, so it should. So I'm just going to run through the list of stuff to do. So we need to run mount to see if it's automatically mounted the disk. I'm going to pipe this into grep. No, I don't think it automatically mounted it. So we're going to have to mount it ourselves. So now I'm going to have to, uh, like I just said, I need to manually mount it. So I need to do mkdir slash mount slash cd rom oh so it already exists now we need to mount it actually so mount slash dev slash cd rom and then mount cd rom oh sudo Oh, okay, so it's right protected mounted read only. That's perfectly fine. We just need to read from the disk. So we need to change to a working directly s directory like slash temp ls slash no ls mount mount point doesn't exist. Oh, we need to uncompress the installer tar. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to copy this. I need to do an ls on slash mount slash cd rom to see what I need. Okay, so it's VMware tools, so I'm just gonna copy and paste the other command. And then tab, there we go, that should work. Now I guess it's extracted. Now we need to unmount the CD-ROM, sudo, there we go. I'm just copying stuff because it's way faster. Now we need to um, 
go into it and then set it up as root and go into here. I wouldn't recommend just copying and pasting stuff, but this is from VMware's website, so I'm just going to do this. I don't know if I need to install Perl. Oh, okay, so it's actually installing it now. So we want to install it in there. I'm just going to take all the defaults. So hopefully this works. So now, okay, so now we need to restart our X session before any mouse or graphics changes take place. To enable advanced X features, example, guest resolution, fit, drag and drop, and uh, file and text copy and paste, you'll need to do one or more of the following. Let's manually start user bin VMware user. User bin VMware user pseudo oh oh it's running wait i i don't know what that was I didn't do anything, so now we're going to just reboot. I might have to run X manually, I don't know. Okay, yeah, there's no display manager, so I'm going to run X. And it's still not finding it. Alright, so I'm going to try to figure this out why it's not working, and then get back to you. Actually, I'm going to run sudo x config configure. Wait, please consult the, please consult the Microsoft Corporation support at wiki.x.org. Interesting. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to just try to figure this out, and then that clearly didn't work. Actually, we can open up the xorg log nano slash etsy slash so we need to open this file I think I don't know oh, okay so it's unwritable that's fine so this is the log I found this um, command on stack overflow or something like that when I was trying to figure this out I've done this before trying to figure out why X doesn't work. Server terminated with error 2. I'm going to look that up. Okay, so I tried to run X clock and it can't open the display. Colon 1. 0. Oh, I saw something about Plymouth. What was that? Oh, that was just doing something. Yeah, I, I don't know what I need to install. It'd be nice to know. Oh, by the way, it seems like it goes on to the second TTY because when I go to control F2, it just, everything disappears and then control F1 just works fine. What if I do sudo DNF search? VM WGFX. I don't think this is gonna work. Nope. You know, this is getting a little a little complicated for me. I'm just I'm gonna try running XR and R. Just okay, that's not available. Just to see if it could detect it could say, oh you're not running X eleven right now. As one last thing, I'm going to before we end, I'm going to install HTOP sudo dnf install htop oh there's no htop well, that's kind of sad I'll go into nano no I don't want to stay in nano I don't like the free software foundation or the main guy that's that they brought back I don't want to go into that though 
If I can figure out a way to make the drivers work and be detected, or if someone else suggests a way to do that, I'm going to make another part of this. But it was very interesting trying to install X11. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it to work, but um, I wasn't intending on doing a part 3, but there might be a part 3. So, um, goodbye for now.